Guys, I just wanted to take a second to make a quick video and give props to somebody who who deserves props. So, I'm kind of an oddball. I like a lot of just odd things in li in life. It just I just, I like what I like. A little different genres of different things, and uh, I'm I'm a huge uh, film buff. A lot of people might not know this. Not so much anymore, but. You know, years ago, I used to watch a lot of movies. I lived right by a video store, and I used to walk over and rent stacks of movies. I mean, I would watch, I would watch movies every day. Like, you know, people say I don't have time. I would make time. Like, I would just, that's just what I did. Instead of watching television, watching sitcoms, I would watch movies. So, and, uh... This video store was just, man, it had thousands of movies. I mean, I, I didn't, I took it for granted at the time, but, uh, you know, I would watch all these weird movies and I would just rent, you know, this is VHS we're talking about, just random films and, and uh, the guy that, that owned the place must just had great taste in movies because he had all these independent films and, uh, and I just got to rent these movies and watch them. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, I'm like, who is the greatest actress of all time? Well, in my opinion, it's Linda Manns. People are like, who? Who's Linda Manns? Do people know who Linda Manns is? I don't know. If you went up to somebody on the street, the next person that walked by in my neighborhood and asked them, do you know who Linda Manns is? They'd probably say no. Now, if you start bringing up different movies, have you ever heard of the movie Out of the Blue? <laughs> I don't think they've heard of Out of the Blue, though which I think of as like a pretty famous movie. Um, but that's mostly what we're talking about, her performance in, in the movie Out of the Blue. Now, I don't really have a list of what I think is the greatest 100 movies of all time or what I think is the greatest 50 or the greatest 10. I kind of look at it like this. There's certain movies that are just, uh, if you're a fan of films, you, you, there's certain movies that are just, they're perfect. Like, you'll, there's certain movies you watch them and just be, it's perfect. There's nothing that you would change about it. And uh, Out of the Blue is, is one of those movies. I mean, it is literally a perfect movie. Is it the greatest movie? Like I said, you know, I don't, it's just one of those movies. It is what it is. If it's something that, depending on where you grew up, where you're from, what your background in life is, what your interests are, uh, is going to dictate how, how a movie will impact you. You know, there's probably some movies out there that you know people watch that has no impact on me, but to somebody, maybe it really hits home with them. It doesn't mean that it's a it's a bad movie. If I don't like it, it just doesn't it just doesn't do anything for me based on where I'm from, but uh, or for whatever reason. So you know, but this movie Out of the Blue is just one of those movies that it's a perfect movie. Linda Manns, I don't know a ton about her, but I am going to call her the greatest actress of all, th of all time because this girl appeared in the late 70s and was in a handful of movies. Uh, that's it. And um, she's perfect. She's perfect. There's nothing that I would change about her. Like in, in the movie Out of Blue, it's a flawless movie and it's a flawless performance by her. You know, I, somehow this girl just appeared in movies like when she was like 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years old. And she was on, in a movie later on in the 90s too. And she's probably done other stuff, like I said. Uh, but she's mostly known, for people that know who she is, she's known for making a handful of movies in the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, I don't know exactly how it came about that she got into movies, but basically... She's very real, like wherever she grew up, how she talked, the way she did everything, her mannerisms, that's what's in the movie. It's as real as it gets, and that's what makes it so great. It's, you know, the thing with movies is, and acting, people know great performance of acting and, and, and actresses is, it's acting, it's fake. That's the thing with movies, it's fake. So it's probably why, like, reality television and everything is so popular now although a lot of that can be fake but you know people on youtube and that can be fake but you know you're, it's more real than somebody acting like in gone with the wind you know what i mean like it's it's 
it's that's the thing with acting it's fake so this girl she you know she was so young and just the performances the movies that she was in it's like she was almost being herself or something i don't know but that's how it came across on film and you know you look just something about somebody that's real it, it will really grab you when you're watching a film it's like an easy rider easy rider is a, a really cool movie everybody knows it but there's one point in there when they when they go into a diner there's the guy with the green john deere hat remember that guy like the redneck guys and it's like when you're watching that movie and you get to that scene it just grabs everybody. It's like, wow, you could just like, if you were in a theater, I mean, you'd be able to hear a pin drop. I mean, if the movie wasn't playing, like just everybody's just like, wow, it grabs everybody's attention. The reason was that guy with that John Deere hat, he wasn't an actor. There was a real person that they found in some hick town and said, hey, you want to be in a movie? And not everybody, you can't just take anybody off the street and put them in a movie. They'll freeze up and they'll stop being themselves. That's a thing too. But if you can get somebody to just be themselves and you could put them in the movies somehow, you would have the most amazing performances because it's as real as it gets. It's not fake. Nobody's trying to play them. And, I, and that was, I think that's pretty much what happened with Linda Mann, with Linda Mann's. And that's why I just think she's the greatest actress of all time. And she just, uh, out of the blue, that is, is a, is, it's a movie that you don't hear people ever calling the greatest movie of all time or even in there. But it is a, a perfect movie. Linda Mann's perfect actress. There's nothing that I would change about her at all. They're literally.